Question 961. Do you have any family traditions that you considered normal, but then discovered that nobody else does it? <laughs> it's, it's not so much that nobody else does it. It's that... <clears throat> so, I, I didn't realize how little known it was. So, my family celebrates, since my mom's half German, and uh, um, we celebrate St. Nicholas Day on December 6th, which is the feast day of St. Nicholas. And so uh, the way you do that is you uh, sneak uh, candy, nuts, and oranges into everyone's shoes. And they wake mm -hmm. up in the morning and there's lovely things. And honestly, when we did it at home as kids, like usually that was like we'd just use stockings because it was just more, you know, hygienic or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, and also kids are gross and there were four of us. So, but then when I went to college, I, I, I did that to my roommate. I put, like an orange and a tangerine and some nuts and some candy in her uh, tennis shoes and she woke up and she was like Julie what the fuck is in my shoes and that's when I realized oh what? weird Catholic thing sorry <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain so that was fun yeah so it's not that weird I just uh, it's weird if you're a non German Catholic I guess B I can't think of, like, I don't know. We didn't really have any, like, things we did on any day of the year every time or anything. How long did the lawn dogs last? We had, uh, we had blueberry pancake Saturday, Saturdays. Well, every oh, Saturday? that sounds lovely. Oh, just occasionally. I think everybody should do. They were homemade, <laughs> fresh-picked blueberries homemade pancakes yeah that was a good tradition oh that sounds amazing. god i miss those pancakes <laughs> yeah well we would go to we would go to rhode island and visit my nana and she had a big well i thought it was a big blue blueberry bush because i was like this tall mm. but um she had a blueberry bush and we'd pick all the blueberries off it put them in plastic bags freeze them take them home and then every time my mom made pancakes she'd just pull a bag out of the freezer and use some of the the, of Nana's blueberries, and they were just so good. And she'd make plate-sized pancakes. They were like this big, and like that thick. And at like six uh, years old, I could eat like four or five of those. Sheriff yeah, says, "Now I want they pancakes." Were the best pancakes in the world. Me too. Sorry, guys. It's okay. That's amazing. Homemade I maple syrup. Oh. We, we had something yeah. that was a bit different, I guess. Um, oh. Being raised as a witness, we didn't do it any of the celebrations so what a lot of witness families would do is on the parents wedding anniversary the kids would get some presents and we called that present day um now lucky for me our parents were married late in the year like late november so we would have our present day late in the year like around the school holidays and when we would go back to school, the kids would say, what did you get? And yeah. I wouldn't be lying when I would answer with what we got. So I didn't have to bring up the whole, I don't do Christmas thing. And I felt like I still fit in because we were getting presents as well, mm. but we only got it once a year. Oh, that's mm. cool. Yeah, that's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I had a, some um, school friends who were Jehovah's Witnesses, and they, they had it rough. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. an easy childhood. No, it's what did not. You do, what did you do for Christmas after you left? Uh, it's, it's different. At first, because you're still so heavily indoctrinated, you, you, you don't believe in it. And the religious side of it's still a big turn off so it's not until you experience other families gatherings and the family side of it and the tradition side of it um that now i'm christmas crazy like <laughs> i love it um it's oh, my yeah. favorite time of year <laughs> I, I know what you mean i love it so much more than i did when i was catholic like, mm. so much more it's because you know the true meaning of it now yeah, it's all the fun shit, none of the bullshit. <laughs> exactly. 
Uh, Sirif says, I have an aunt that's JW. Family always gave her gifts but wrapped them plainly and didn't call them Christmas presents. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny? Um, no, my family was incredibly dull, boring, stereotypically. So... We, we, nothing. Nothing. Oh, Dave. Absolutely nothing. Well, <clears throat> Dave, I remembered something we used to do. Come on. If it was in the summer, like, you know, those hot summer days and it, it gets to dusk and evening time and it starts raining and there was no lightning, we would go out and play in the mud. Mm. We'd all just go outside and play. And mm. because we were so hot all day, we couldn't be outside a lot. So we'd all go outside and play and get covered in mud. And when we were done, my mom would say, Girls in the back, boys in the front, and she would hose us down <laughs> one at a time. And we had to, like, she'd hose down our clothes, then we'd take the clothes off, and she hosed us down, and then she'd send the girls to the bathtub, and we'd drop our clothes in the washing machine on the way back. We had, like, a mud room in our back, back of our house because we lived on a farm. And then she would make the boys wait. They'd play a little longer, and then we, as we were getting out of the tub, she'd start hosing them down. But she just took us out one day and just said, come on, we're going to go play in the rain when I was really little, so it just became a thing. It was like, we're bored, it's summer, it's hot during the day, we're gonna go play in the mud. So, that was fun. That's great. Excellent, right, we shall skip mm, on to the next that's question. Lovely that's lovely <laughs> Oh, I had the best mom in the world, I can't even tell you. I, I, never, I never said when I was younger, I want world peace, I always said, I want everybody to have a mother like mine. Because <laughs> I thought the world, the world would be a better. I, I know, I know for a fact the world would have been a better place if everybody had a mother like that. I did like because we had the question like that, didn't we? Where, 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 what would you replace your parents with? You, 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 you said, I'll replace my, I'm not replacing my mother. <laughs> I'll take my mother. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you could take my dad and, I don't know, shoot him out of a cannon, cannon, I don't care, but not mom. Yeah. yeah. So. Jeff? Uh, nothing really, that, nothing. Unique, really? No, nothing. Did you grow up with your parents, socialist? No, no. no. You say that. I... No, what? no, uh, no. Uh, um, my stepfather's a bit more conservative, but not like real, not like real hardcore or nothing. Yeah. And my mum, my mum was always a bit more liberal. I, I'm just sort of lefty in the fact. I mean, my grandfather was always like very staunch, like Labour Party. So, but. Yeah. Um, so, so you know, I grab both my grandparents actually. They, they're always pretty staunch Labour voters, so, but um, no, it's nothing, nothing really, no, not that. Intrigue. Right, last question then for today. Oh, we're there. Does my family having me pay them back for raising me count? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up, rather than that a family is tradition. Oh, Sarah, that I is... am so sorry. Yeah. I rem I'm, I'm sorry. I just I remembered when she told that story on here, and that's no. that's the that's, most vile. That's not a tradition. Thing. It's no, not a tradition. That's it's child abuse. Yeah, that's it's, it's actually in yeah, Matilda. That that's what Matilda's <laughs> evil aunt <laughs> does after she murders <laughs> Matilda's parents to get their inheritance. Oh. And like, yeah, she the in Roll Dolls book Matilda. That's that's what her aunt. Or, I'm sorry, it's not yeah. Matilda's aunt. I'm sorry, it's the teacher's, no. aunt. Uh, the teacher's aunt. My bad. It's the teacher's aunt. Miss, Miss Crunch and Miss, Miss yeah. Crunch's aunt. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Does that I, I, would, I was just, just going to get ready because I was getting ready. I'm sure Julie's got that wrong. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you, I, were ready, I you were ready to go and I did. I had it wrong. That was, um, yeah, that was, I do remember that was one roll doll book with, I think when it, we had to be read at school. Because so I think it was one of his later books, so if that's what I remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a great one, though. Mm. That's good. I thought it's, uh, yeah, it's better than some of the others. I want to see the stage yeah. play. Yeah. I did too. Loved it. <laughs> Loved who it. Wants to see, who wants to see what play? Matilda. I went to see the, the musical that uh, yeah. Tim mentioned that the songs were. That was really good. Mm. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. 
And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here.